But what is a million dollar brand to you? And what, what does it take to build one, do you think, in 2024? I love how you your book is about legacy, but I would love to know the answer to that from you. Yeah, I think um, when you say million dollar brand, I think a brand that tells a story, a, uh, it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, um, that's not the right word. Uh, I, I, I think of like a brand that a compelling, that's the word I'm looking for. It's a brand that tells a compelling story that attracts people mm, to, the, to the story itself more than the product, more than the, even the result that they're going to get, but ultimately to the story. That's what I think when I think million dollar brands, the best brand in the world, there's a story attached to it. Now that story can be one that's created in the minds of the of the client or in the minds of the user, or it might be a story that was created in the mind of the owner of the brand, right? Uh, different 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 brands have different paths and journeys that they go on, um, but ultimately, an iconic brand always has a story. Look at a big golden arches. We all always. know the story, right? There's yeah. a story, whether that be the story of how McDonald's was created and the real estate takeover and all of that or the story of being five years old and going into the mm -hmm. drive through with your parents and getting those golden crispy french fries with some salt <laughs> on them right like there's a story attached to it uh and that's what i think of when i think million dollar brand awesome or, or glenn lindsey growing up in two different houses and listening to country music and r&b and a combination and working <laughs> out you are that's right so i love it i absolutely love it